On the opposite bank of the Rhine, encircled by the river's arms, a loyal species has made itself at home. Permanent campers. Two thousand caravans dot the countryside. They too belong to the Lower Rhine. Klaus Bresser is always on the go on Grav Island. No time for a break on Germany's largest family campsite. 35 kilometers of pathway, 200 kilometers of bush, and endless acquaintances. A campsite manager is always on the move. You have to use your instinct and a bit of forward planning. Then you can manage to maneuver even the largest caravan into the smallest corner, even if that means disconnecting it and pulling it around by hand. Campside manager Klaus moved his home to the Rhine. Here, by the water, he's in his element. Each caravan requires an allocated space, otherwise chaos would reign on the island. Here, the campsite manager is mayor and caretaker all in one, 24-7. Even though it's only procuring a gas cylinder for warmth. Like Klaus, people have set up their homes on Grav Island and made the campsite the center of their lives. Nine thousand permanent campers have come here in search of a sense of freedom. It's like a small town in the middle of nature here. When I come into a house with walls, I start feeling claustrophobic after about one and a half hours. Since 1969, Grav Island has been home to permanent campers. Since then, the Rhine has come knocking on their doors several times. A four kilometer long dike is to hold back the floods. Living with the Rhine is also what makes life so exciting. We never know when there will be a flood or whether there will be one. Will we get off the island in time or will we have to close the dikes, which would completely cut us off from the rest of the world? The Rhine is fine where it is now, but if it's right outside my door, I'm not so keen on it. As I said, we've been trapped by flooding several times here and we never know how long it will last. The Rhine can be treacherous. These campers are a close-knit society, even beyond death. All deceased Grav Islanders are commemorated on plaques. I think uh, what we all have in common is that the people who are on that plaque all had neighbours. And of course those neighbours still think of the ones they lost. We campers are a race apart. We're not travellers anymore. We're more or less settled, but we are definitely a bit special.